Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to terminate the thread by pressing enter button. So this is the code. So here if you press enter, so this do the read operation, read method that works and uh, after that uh, flag value become true and if that here flag true then this return. So this return that means that out from the or uh, this or uh, run method and that out from the main class sorry main method so now let's uh, run this code and check the output first so running the file or uh, then here you can see this is the running so running running or uh, when this or uh, till this uh, values so when i value ever then this value then that terminate so if i press uh, enter so enter you can press so now you can see here when I press the enter so this place this point values or that to terminate the thread so let's uh, uh, understand this code so if you run this code then control comes to main method after that that comes to this point so there thread 11 has the object t1 so t1 is the object of thread 11 so here this you can see this is the thread class and here new thread 11 constructor so t1 that i created the object with the help of thread class now t2 another object that i created or uh, with the help of thread class so now you can see there is the thread class and here new thread constructor there i attach t1 so t1 that comes from or this thread 11 now after that t dot dot starts so after that control comes to this point or run method and now here you can see flag value is now that is equal to false so flag value is false now run method that go inside so i value that I start from 1 and here 1 less than this 0 so condition is true so when that true then that go inside system dot out dot print i value that print so i value print next to here if flag so flag value is now false so this will not do any return operation so this continue the i value so i value is not 2 2 less than or this condition this 0 so condition is true then that go inside i value print or uh, print so i value is to print then again flag value is now false so false this will don't do any return then after i increase so i increase here 3 less than or uh, this condition condition is true so condition is true then print the value of i so 3 print then flag is uh, still false so like this they uh, that continue on so i value increase and this continue now after that to here when user print or uh, press enter so when user press enter so read operation they th that work there so read operation that work there now or t1 dot t1 that call flag so this times t1 that uh, call the flag so flag value is now flag value this times this is equal to true so here now control again that back to this point there so if a flag value is now that become or true so that become true so this do the return operation so return operation that means that out from run method and when that back to this point then out from this main method and finally you can get this output so this is the way that program that works so first here uh, object created thread 11 and thread class object created with the help of uh, thread constructor and t1 that attach t2 dot start that starts so here flag value is now false there so run method that comes so i value start from one this condition so here flag value is false so that won't do any return 
so continue on continue on but when user press enter so this to the read operation so it read something then here t1 dot flag so flag value is now true so this call the flag so here flag is now or uh, that is the value that become true so this true then that do the return so return that out from the run and next when that back there then that out from the main method so this is the way that code works and this is the simple code to terminate the thread by pressing the enter button so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you